Okay, then when you uh, get to Database Manager, you can add a, a data SQL uh, 2005 database. I've already done it. My, mine is called uh, My Quality of Life, and I have a user login name of uh, My Quality of Life user. But to see where you would do that, you click on uh, Add uh, 2005. And this takes a day or two for them to uh, do. Uh, but you would just type in the ending part of your name and to see what your logon uh, name is you can click on logon manager and that will show you that your logon is at and your password and these are important pieces of information that you're going to need to connect uh, your application to Step five, we've got our domain name, and we've got our hosting account set up. Now we need to go back to GoDaddy Domain Manager and update the name servers to what uh, Discount ASP tells you. They'll tell you it's NS1, Discount ASP through NS3, so forth. And you need to enter those names in GoDaddy. So on Discount ASP, if you go to uh, account information and scroll down here you'll see uh, domain URL and this gives you the uh, name server names but they also send it to you in an email I think. So now we go to GoDaddy Okay, on GoDaddy you log into your account that you created when you bought the domain name here I'll do that then under domains you see this uh, link called my domains you click on that and this puts you into a domain manager where you can uh, update the name servers so you click on uh, uh, the uh, domain that you're interested in updating then here it has the domain uh, the name servers you can either click on this link here or click right right there on those uh, yours will originally say GoDaddy I've already updated these to uh, say I'm clicking on that name server icon and this uh, allows me to change the custom name servers to the uh, new hosting uh, over at discountasp.net and you click on OK and that may take uh, some time to take effect maybe 24 hours before your URL will point to your uh, new name server. The way you know that it uh, has pointed to the new name server you just type in your URL in the browser and it will come up with this default page that uh, Discount ASP set us up for you. So mine has uh, now been uh, pointed to uh, the discount ASP hosting. The next step is uh, number six go to uh, SQL Server Management uh, Studio to create your database and tables. And to get there you uh, click on Start uh, SQL Server Management uh, Studio e Express. Uh, you you can download that from the Microsoft site if you don't already have it. This opens up uh, SQL Server Management Studio Express. And here uh, you can uh, have your, this is where you go directly to uh, the server that they gave you on uh, Discount ASP that's the server name you say you want to use SQL Server authentication you put in your username and then you put in your password okay I put in my password and there you have it it connected me out there to uh, SQL uh, to discount ASP from my local computer 
click on databases folder then you see all the databases that they have out there so you have to find your database I'll do that by scrolling down I'm going back over to disk on ASP.NET to find the name of my database and here it is 570561 I'm going to find that in uh, Management Studio and that's uh, exactly what, where it is so we can uh, just click on that open that up and go to tables okay now we can start designing right in here we click on tables we right click and say new table and then we start defining our column names and our uh, and so forth so the column name will be ID this will be our primary key and I'll make it an integer and we can't allow nulls in a primary key come down here say identity specification yes that this is uh, what it's going to identify each row so identity increment is one and it's going to start with the index of one and we add the next column oh I'm sorry we right click and say set as primary key on the uh, ID column and then we add the next column which is name that uh, varicar 50 we will allow uh, just don't allow nulls there and that's it our table is all set up close this I'll ask you how do you want to save it do you want to save it and we say yes then we can uh, apply a name here to the table that's how you name your table names we'll just call it names click OK now we've uh, created our table out on there and we can edit our table we can put uh, ID of 1 oh you can't uh, edit the ID but when it goes to the next row it will uh, update the ID for you taking some time okay it finally came back and uh, added the ID for me I could add more names here just to show you that it does it automatically incrementing the ID and you close your table once it uh, is taking a while to update for some reason today and to save the table you just close it now that data is in the table now we need to go into Visual Web Developer and build our application so I click on start and go to Microsoft uh, Visual Web Developer it's already in my startup you could go to all program 